That was the drum beat to Sympathy for the Devil by the Rolling Stones, whose drummer Charlie Watts was so good at creating interesting drum parts, and that drum beat is unique to that song and that song alone. At first, the Rolling Stones had a rock approach, then they went into a Latin direction, and Charlie Watts, having a background in jazz and Latin music, really stepped up to the plate and helped knock a home run out of the park for the Rolling Stones, contributing to a timeless masterpiece. It wasn't just Charlie Watts' ability to come up with interesting drum parts that made him so unique. He also had an interesting way of playing the backbeat, and his timing was so solid, and I feel like this technique really contributed to that. Most drummers will play time on the hi-hat all eighth notes all the way through. Well, any time the snare drum came around, Charlie Watts would actually move his hand off of the hi-hat, leaving more room for his left hand to come around and karate chop that snare drum, giving you a much louder backbeat, and it really helped pronounce his drum sound, and you can hear this in the song Beast of Burden. one of my personal favorite things that Charlie Watts would do behind the drum set is the way he used drum fills. He didn't use them to be flashy and it wasn't always to introduce a new part of the song. He actually had a way of turning drum fills into motifs, which is a repeating musical idea that pretty much becomes the music. It's part of the melody. It's ingrained in the song and you can really hear this in Get Off Of My Cloud and give me shelter. These are just a few examples of Charlie Watts' unique drumming style, and it's not just his ability to play the drums that makes him so inspiring. The man lived until he was 80, and his job the whole time was to be the drummer for one of the biggest rock bands of all time. That is something that not a lot of people can say they've done in their lifetime. So congrats, Charlie. We love you, we're happy for you, and of course we miss you and thank you for the beautiful music. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.